Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to take a look at another incident that's got the internet all riled up. But first, check this out. This is actually my son's gun. We got it built out on the vlog channel if you want to look at that. But this is our sponsor for today. This right here. Not the gun. This sling. See, it's a donut sling. It's from a company called Gap Monkey. If you click on the link below and use the code DONUT10 on their website, you get 10% off. They got some really, really, really cool slings. That's right though. A cop popped a lady in the face on camera again. Again, you might say, why yes, again. Remember two years ago when the Baltimore police sergeant got that two piece from a crazy lady trying to run people over? Then an officer by the name of Love stopped her when she suddenly and violently head butted his fist. That officer's name really was love, and I'll never stop making the joke that that was a love tap. This is gonna feel like a Family Guy episode with all the references. Like, hey Lois, you remember that time? God, my Family Guy accent is fucking terrible. Hey Lois, you remember that time at the football game? <laughs> Fuck, I suck at that. 2017, Miami. A lady was acting all drunk and belligerent when three giant police officers just picked her ass up and started carrying her out of the stadium. The woman suddenly fell asleep after she made the mistake of backhanding one of the officers in the face. That lady has been arrested before for hitting dudes, it turns out, and I just wanted to show you my favorite part of this news clip. I give you an awkward stare from Wish.com Al Pacino. Record show Freitas has been arrested before for domestic violence in 2012. Now, we called and texted Freitas and even stopped at her home. This is such a crock of shit. Now, on to our new incident of a police officer striking a lady in the face. He said, you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I didn't love that. I haven't changed my opinion. To summarize the new one, we're just going to read a headline real quick. NYPD releases Harlem fight body cam after video of woman hit by cop stokes outcry. Let's investigate this outcry stoking. Now we actually have multiple angles of this incident taking place. The first one that we're gonna look at was what made it go viral. It was captured on a cell phone, of course. A cell phone filming vertically, which is a crime in itself, and the officers should have turned around and arrested that person also. The doo-doo hole of the East Coast, New York City. NYPD officers were attempting to arrest an attempted murder suspect. That's a sketchy arrest right there, boys. A large brawl then broke out with people interfering with the arrest of the attempted murderer. One lady runs up and starts shoving an officer. The officer shoves her back and she hits him in the face. Just like the other videos that we looked at, he just straight up reacted. He reacted with a pretty gnarly right hook. After the public outcry, NYPD released the body camera footage. Reports state that at least three people were arrested for trying to interfere with this arrest, including the lady who attacked the officer's hand with her face. Surprisingly, I don't see that much angry outcry like the news states. I'm reading the comments on some of the videos on YouTube. Pretty much all I can find are ones like these. Sad we live in a world where people think they can hit police officers with zero consequences. A true gentleman showing his commitment to equal rights. Accountability should be on both sides. You can't just hit cops and not expect to be hit back. I applaud this officer and his journey towards true gender equality. Absolutely justified. Man or woman, you do not put your hands on an officer. They will put you on the ground. So that brings me to the question of the video that I want you guys to have calm, rational discussions about in the comments below. Was this police brutality or was this, as the internet says, a case of equal rights? Rights and lefts. The Miami Dade PBA president put it this way when the football stadium lady was struck by the officer earlier. All he was doing was reacting to her actions. He was totally justified. My birthday is tomorrow, so there's probably not going to be any new videos this weekend. So I want to tell you all right now, have a fantastic day. Now back over to mom. Can I have an Al Pacino? No, son. We have an Al Pacino at home.